Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Lenny and this is Big Girls Really Do Cry and I thought I'd just do another little catch up thing because I'm not doing anything else at the minute. <laughs> um, so um, where do I start, where do I start? I'll start with the tribunal I think. Um, please ignore my face, that, my lips are really sore and I think it's off my mask and stuff but also I look really red. And I think this is off my mask, it's just sort of pressure on my face, I guess. And yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm blurred or if it's just me. It's a little bit reflective in it. Anyway, so awful in any. There's nothing really much to update on the tribunal other than I did get in touch with um a housing officer for a floor plan for the house, but apparently they don't do one. So I'm just gonna have to uh measure every room and all that. Well, not me personally, get someone to do it for us, I guess. Um, and she did say that she would make a mock one, but it wouldn't be an official one from them, essentially. Um, but I think that'll be okay, because as long as they've got the measurements, which is what they need. Um, then I contacted uh, someone for like help with it. Um, wasn't very impressed with them, to be honest. Uh, so I think I'm going to try somewhere else. Just He just kept saying, well, why can't you keep them in other rooms? Well, why can't you? And I'm like... And it wasn't like... Uh, it, like This is like the first sort of conversation we've ever had. It, it, but the way he was saying it was like... I don't know. Like, I don't know. It was just annoying. So I might look for someone else because it, I just, it made me feel a bit uncomfortable, if I'm honest. So, yeah, that's about it with that. Um, what else? Um, my hair, right? I know, like, I feel like I'm like my hair's thinning on the top here, and like, it's probably cause of my own fault because of my lack of taking my vitamin D, which I'm supposed to take, because it, it, it's not like I take it, I don't take it because like, you know, people do when they're older and like lack of sun and stuff but I actually do have a deficiency like it's it's um I get I don't even know how you pronounce it cochlearal or something like that from the GP so it's not like your average vitamin D I don't know the one you buy which I've done before as well and it's probably my fault because I've missed it um and I've had I had so many issues with my stomach at one point when I was taking all the diabetes stuff that it was um it was like and it wasn't staying put anyway if that makes sense and I think I kind of went to like just not have anything but then I sort of forgot to restart it which is bad so I have done that and hopefully it'll make a difference because I do feel like it's thinning on the top I mean my hair's thin anyway and it really needs cutting because it is it, it's way too long um, and what will happen is, like I always do, is I'll just hack it off. I never, I just get like sick one day and then I'll take like sort of like that much off or something and, you know, try and feather it a little bit at the front. But like I said, it's, it's really thin, so it's annoying. And I suppose if you've got thick hair, it's probably annoying, but like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. We're never happy, are we? No, never happy. But I, I did try a um, hairdresser once at home, like a mobile one. And she just didn't listen to us and she straightened my hair. And like, I hate my hair straightened. It looks awful. I mean, I've got a potato head to start with. It, it doesn't need to be, a, 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 what's the word? Emphasised, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, right, what else? Oh, my bird feeder. I'm finally getting all that sorted because... Um, I don't know if I said before, but um, I had it all set up before and I had loads of birds coming and it was great. And I was like, I even did like a birds on film series on, uh, on YouTube. Um, and like, obviously with things that happened last year, obviously the, the upkeep of it stopped and things had got rusty and whatever. So um, for my birthday money off my sister, I bought like, I spent £35 in the range, well, online, and uh, ordered, like, loads of new feeders and food and all of that. 
and then my sister-in-law set it up for me um, and I got my little camera back off my brother it's just like the hand, a handheld thing which is great anyway um, so I've managed to take pictures but at the minute I'm like it's crows, pigeons and wood pigeons pigeons and wood pigeons and crows that's basically what all that uh, is yeah is, is coming at the minute but hopefully um, it'll it'll um, yeah it'll, it'll build up it's the wrong time really because if I don't if I'd have probably done it in April, if I'd have, if I'd have got it up and running for April, then I probably would have gotten like you know all the fledg fledg fledgling can't say fledglings F fledglings yeah we'll say that anyway uh, they would have all come and like been fed off to parents and things because I did have that was it last year the year before I can't remember um, yeah so that's cool so it gives us something else to do instead of just some so sick of watching TV and that. And it will give us something else to do. And what I'll do is I'll I'll pop in a photo of what it looks like. I think I took one, and maybe a couple of pictures of the birds that I took. Um, I'll do that right now. <laughs> Yeah, so all I've got so far is, as you can see, pigeons and um, crows. Wood, wood pigeons and normal pigeons. Are they just common pigeons, I think? Yeah, well, I've gotten a few of them. And as you can see, even going through my window, the camera's really good. And I love the little, it's just a little Nikon, but honestly, I love it. Um, and so even though I've got my big one, which I'll only use when I go out, there's no point in bringing it here and then it's where to put it and... I don't want to get them broken by being knocked off table or whatever so yeah um so that's cool um what next what next uh la 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 i will go with diet shall I? so um i've been on my diet since the 21st i started on the 21st um and yeah it's it's it's, it's going really well i mean obviously i know because the tablets weren't working for us for the diabetes, um, that I had to do something in terms of cutting it down and everything. Unfortunately, it's not as low as I, I wished it would be. I keep being around the sort of 17 to 19 mark um, when I do my bloods. Um, but the only thing, I have like one cup of tea in the morning with sugar, I can't not. But I, and I sometimes have a second one um, but it also depends on the carer because I like really strong tea so only certain carers can make it the way I like it so that sort of helps overall in the week of having not as many uh, but I used to have four a day when there was like a, a, a decent carer on who make a decent tea maker I should say because um, if you don't have strong tea there's just you I don't think you can make it if you don't drink it that way it doesn't seem to work for some reason um, but yeah, uh, so that's the only thing, and I've like literally got everything that I've got. I'm not having, and I used to have like, you know, like the sort of 99 calorie, um, say, McFitties ginger biscuits or the little, the like the little mini bags that had like 99 calories. Totally don't know where I was now because my son decided he would sing down the corridor. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't know what this picked up and whether I've left it in or not or what we'll find out well you'll find out you'll already know actually because it'll have been before this but I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to editing um I think I, I was talking about food uh, the diet and stuff uh, but I have no clue what about the world but anyway I'm currently doing 2800 calories I'm mostly nowhere near I'm sort of three usually three or four hundred less um than than that but i feel like i'm having a lot of food but i, I think that's partly down to sort of the extra veg and fruit and veg that's going on i'm actually hitting me goals every day like with that which is kind of weird like 
because um, on NutriTech it's got a little um, if you don't have it uh, my, uh, not on my food down, it's got a little green well it's a blank apple but it turns green the more fruit and veg you have and I think today's was six point something um, so that's chuffed that's chuffed <laughs> well yeah I am chuffed uh, but I don't know why it was that was chuffed but anyway yeah, um, so I've been hitting that. My only issue is because I'm like not having the. Oh, that's what I was talking about, wasn't it? The sugar and cutting out all biscuits and things. Um, and the only uh, dark chocolate uh, that is in the sugar range I can have is um, 100% dark chocolate. Um, but I feel like, well, mix it with a bit of. Um, like my plan is to melt it a little bit and then have it with some strawberries because then the sweetness of the strawberries will take the bitterness of the um yeah will take the bitterness away um going back to the diabetes thing um i've been referred to get insulin uh temporarily because they couldn't control me with meds because uh, i was literally going to the toilet like 30 minutes after i'd eaten type of thing and it um Obviously, it was causing a lot of issues. Um, so, yeah, they referred me, but my appointment's not till September, which I'm like, oh, um, seems a long way away. Do you know what I mean? I thought it would be more more important than that, but seems not. Because, like I said, I think I've said this earlier, my, sh my sugars are around 17 to 19, which is high because you're supposed to be between 4 and 7. Yeah. But it doesn't, it, despite the fact that I've like reduced all of it, it doesn't seem to be helping. And I know there's naturally occurring sugars in terms of like fruit and stuff. And I know that um, I, ha I had a banana this morning as part of my breakfast. Um, and I think they come up as like 30% sugar or something. Um, but then naturally occurring sugar, whether, it, I guess it'll still spike your blood, bloods, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know the answer, if you know what I mean. And I know that berries are the lowest in naturally occurring sugars. <laughs> That's a long word, isn't it? Naturally occurring sugars. I don't know why, but it is. Um, and it's three words, not one. Don't know what you're talking about, Lenny. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> God, I saw a waffle on, didn't I? And talk a lot of crap. Uh, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't. <laughs> um, anyway, so... It's 10 days, pretty much, I think, from you watching it that I've been doing this. And like I said, I've been filling up on a lot of, like, fruit and veg, so it's really helped. So I've, like, had hummus and then a lot of, like, picky, snick, uh, picky snicks. Ah, oh, Jesus. Like a picky plate with <laughs> things you can dip in hummus, like cucumber and pepper and uh, celery, etc. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of those and they really fill in, um, so really help. And um, yeah, I've not felt like I'm missing out. I've completely changed to sourdough bread um, because I used to have wholemeal because I thought, oh, that's the best for you type of thing. Like, I know the really seeded stuff and that is, but I'm not that keen. So anyway, and I was talking to my nurse practitioner about my di uh, diabetes and my B&M. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I've got B&M. Fucking... Oh, my God. Stop swearing, Lainey. You don't, you don't swear that much. <laughs> okay, try again. I, should, I, I can't... Do you know what it is? I can't even be bothered to edit all this out, so it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so my, my <laughs> oh my god, my, um, what is it? I'm, like, my whole brain is going, BMI, it's not BMI either. God, see, IBS, it's not even begin with a B, what's your problem? <laughs> oh my god, I need help, I, I need help, I really need help somewhere. Um, send help, please. <laughs> Anyway, so yes, my IBS, he said that the best bread I can eat is sourdough because 
sourdough is uh, used, the use fermented yeast, and that will be good for me guts. You just say gut, you don't say your guts, do you? Hello, if you, if you knife someone in the gut, do you knife someone in the guts? <laughs> Why is even that like a thought that just entered my <laughs> Oh God, this, this is going to be about three hours long. And it, it, it was only meant to be a short thing, honestly. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some pictures in um, of like the food I've had. And the last one is my salt intake and then I'll talk about that when we come back. Okay. Yeah, so there were some really nice meals in there. Um, I love mushrooms on toast. And on mushrooms on sourdough is even better. So that was like absolutely delicious. I think that was 330 calories, roughly. Uh, the hummus and the... Um, I had, I think I had hummus crustini, crustini is that how you say it? Um, and then I had red peppers. What else did I have? Red pepper, celery, and cucumber, I think, or something like that. And I'm sure that was like nearly 500 calories, but it was like the hummus is pretty high, and I had half the pot. Um, and the crustine, I know the crustines aren't too bad, the little crispy toast things, they're only like this big each. This big each, yeah. And, um, they're about 18 calories each so it's not too bad and it was just i just wanted something crunchy with the dip rather than just the i mean i know carrot i know all the veg is crunchy but i don't know what the word i'm looking for but whatever it is i wanted that <laughs> um i've also like the strawberries with the fire yogurt although i really want to say fudgy yogurt but it's not right i know fire yogurt fire yogurt um which is the greek one which is, you know, it's not, it's got, it's kind of got a, a sour bit of taste, I suppose, but um, obviously it's no sugar, which is what I need. And so I just add fruit to it. And um, and then I bought some Lizzie's low sugar, uh, like granola stuff, because it was the only one that was under the five grams per hundred grams. And then I sprinkled that on it as well, and it was really nice just to have that crunch with it too. Um, it's just a little sprinkle. But yeah, had some lovely meals, which you'll see. I like, uh, I tell you what, I really love like the corned beef, beans, and uh, sweet potato. And I had corned beef, beans, and normal potato, and I also had corned beef. <laughs> I get a bit obsessed. And I also had corned beef, beans, and uh, carrot and sweet mash. So I've had it in all those con conversations, no, com concoctions and combinations. That's the word. That's it. And uh, yeah, it's um, it, and really tasty, really filling, and yeah, I'm I'm kind of enjoying it. I am. Um, I've been updating um, Instagram more, so like. I've said that I'm not going to do it every day, um, but actually I've only missed two days, and then I've added them. If you know what I mean, I've like put day six and seven, and then uh, when I do tomorrow's, it will be day nine and ten, I think. Today's nine and ten. Aye, whatever. Confusal. Um, yeah. So it's all going really well, and that's good. The one thing is my salt, and that was the last image you saw is uh, the thing with it is when you low on your sugar so much like that and then the situation I'm in when you have to rely on ready meals and things like that the salt is always really high so you get so if you get low sugar you get high salt and fat usually or you get high sugar and lower salt and fat but yeah that's my issue and and 
on the stats on the nutri check it's shown that my salt intake is high i mean not as high as i suppose it could be but it's still high and having lymphedema and lipidema retaining water is not good for me and i don't know how to rectify it at all i really don't so if anyone has any di di ideas ideas please please help with that um what else um yeah just the other point is i really like watching um like budget and cooking things so where people buy a low amount of ingredients try and make something with it etc um or they get like too good to go grocery boxes and then make things out of the stuff or they'll say i don't know spend 25 pound and see how far they can live off it for and what they can make with it something like that but i have to do a little bit of a rant because there's some of these things right and it'll say i don't know 60 uh, uh, something like i don't know 85 meals for 40 pound or something we'll go with that right and so i've looked at it and then they'll go right so you've got like say they've bought like meat and potatoes chicken and whatever whatever right and then they'll go so we're going to make this and we're going to make this and we're going to make this and they plan out everything they're going to make but then when they go to like show you how to do it or like you know the ingredients it's like oh so you need this this and this and this and this and then you just get um your smoke pack paprika out your store cupboard your milk out your fridge your flour out your store cupboard and i'm like well no this isn't that's bollocks like it really bugs me that that people do that it's like no you can't you can't that's not properly doing it i i don't have smoke smoke pack pack breaker in or whatever and i'm sure there's lots of other people who don't and they don't have like a fully stocked store cupboard of like these things like uh you know like so therefore if you don't have any you have to pay for like i don't know whatever it is 80 pence for a jar or a pound or whatever and then therefore it, in, and it, even though you might have loads left you still have to pay out that money to do it and then it's like it frustrates the life out of me because i'm like um just like driven insane by the fact that it's not true so then you think all right so you just said you can do 85 meals for 40 pound when actually it probably would cost you 80 pound or 60 pound or whatever so no it's just annoying really annoying and yeah it just shouldn't be allowed okay <laughs> it's just it's just it's not it's wrong and like i've also seen um people do challenges where they can turn a quid into however money however much money but then they don't take out all the costs and i'm like hold on so they'll buy something for a pound they'll sell it for a fiver and then they'll buy three things for the fiver and then they'll sell it for 25 so all the way along they're just going they're doing like a pound and five and 25 but they're not taking out any of the costs of like where they sell it from um or any of the costs of like posting it and things or if they do have separate things for that they don't say do you know what i mean and then i'm thinking well if you've sold that for a fiver and it costs three quid to post and then you've got your charges then you've only actually made about what 120 i don't know but it just bugs me because i'm thinking but that's not true you're making it look better than it is and it isn't you're not really getting a hundred pound out of that or 50 or whatever your, your goal is you're not you're not getting that so yeah so there's that they really bug me um I, I i would really like to find other people who do these cooking budget and things that would that do do them properly in my point of view <laughs> obviously it's my point of view now Atomic Shrimp, if you don't follow him, it's a great channel because he 
does budget and things he accounts for every single thing um and it, it doesn't matter whether it's like like he's one of his latest ones was buy the cheapest things in in uh asda and then he has like uh fresh frozen veg blah 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 all these different things and and he makes some yeah not anything that i'd want to eat because he's got a very what's the word eclectic palate is that the right way to see it so yeah um he mixes things with other things that i'm thinking oh you know what i mean and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't but also he's done like where he's had three parent and he can make has to make meals for a day or whatever um and he also he does foraging and he does loads of other things like uh he grows his own veg and um goes like you know, he does a lot of walking and things, and he also does scammer visit videos, and he does um, weird stuff in a can, so he buy things from different countries, and then he'll review it. Um, and he's very brave to me because some of the things that I think, oh my god, I couldn't try that in a million years. But yeah, and I enjoy it because he he does he even does all like you know all the amounts, all of the things that he's used within the challenge. He even tells you how much is left. He tells you all the like proteins and fats and the calories and everything. He, he covers the whole lot. He's really good and I would recommend him. And if anyone else has any lifestyle type of challenge, um, channels um, with like this budget and cooking stuff that I, I find that I'm enjoying, um, then yeah, then recommend them below because yeah, I'd really like to see something new because uh, I'm so sick of watching the telly and I still don't know when I'm going to escape this room um, so yeah but having the bird feeder that'll help because it gives us something else to do which is what I need anyway I'm going to shut up and disappear because I think I've covered everything and I've waffled on and can't speak English <laughs> come up with constantly the wrong words but I won't be editing this because this is me and this is how I am in real life as well you know ask my friends they'll tell you <laughs> laneyisms apparently I have I've got laneyisms I've got a lane dictionary no one no they're not written down anywhere they should be really cause like <laughs> it'll probably be funny to look back on but yeah that is me so anyway Thank you very much for watching. I shall be back at some point again with another update, maybe another 10 days or whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, and I shall see you then. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.